challenging but yet rewarding so i would like to say that to all women that aircraft don't know gender aircraft don't know who is uh, the female or male and hello everyone myself pooja savan i'm mm-hmm. born and brought up uh, in mumbai i always have uh, I uh, have always the, had a passion for aircraft since childhood, so which is why I decided to pursue a career in aviation. Uh, after completing my 12th grade, I pursued my bachelor's in aeronautical engineering from AESI, Aeronautical Society of India, and I have been working in aviation industry for past eight years with uh, experience in airlines, MRO, OEM. Uh, my career started with Air India. Air India has a aircraft performance engineer, and later on, I worked in Amman Aviation. It is a MRO. In Amman Aviation, I was in quality and maintenance department. Then I joined uh, Jet Airways, where I worked in a technical services, a reliability, and airframe subunit, also in quality. And currently, I am working as a repair engineer in Collins Aerospace. My name is Arvind Ganesh, and I'm working in the field of aeronautics for past three and a half years okay. now. I work on different projects like structural design, system design, uh, and majorly I worked uh, on landing gear, hydromechanical system. And uh, uh, currently I work at Acodis uh, in France, in Toulouse, as a airworthiness and certification engineer for landing gear, ATA 32 it is called. Aeronautics. The word aeronautics is like a study of flight or study of flight and its technology, anything that flies in the air, if you study how it does and why it does and and if you can control it, it, it comes under the engineering of aeronautics. And there are different fields in that, in like different sub subgroups also, namely like aerodynamics that which studies the flow of air over a body and material science to see which material is capable of holding that and flying in the sky and another is uh, control systems, like how do you guide this, like how do you like make this walk or fly in a particular direction that you want to do so yeah all these together combines makes a flight that like or uh, anything that makes it fly in the air uh, uh, for your expectations is aeronautics so design manufacturing testing and uh, operation of the aircraft which is and flying which is in flying so that is aeronautics so in aeronautics we have a many uh, fields like aerodynamics, material science. So, uh, what is aer- uh, aerodynamics? So, aerodynamics is nothing but a study of how the air flow around the object, and how it affects the behavior of the aircraft in the flight. Uh, also, material science we told. So, what is material science? So, it is like a study and development of a new material that with uh, that can withstand the stresses in flight and design of the structures that support the weight of the aircraft in flight. So, uh, and there are many other terms. It's a vast field. Aeronautics is very vast. It's divided in subunits. So, to pursue a career as an aeronautical engineer, one typically need to have a bachelor's degree in aerospace or aeronautical engineering or related fields such as mechanical, electrical, computer science, and so on. It is an interdisciplinary field. So, however, to pursue the undergraduate in a graduation in aeronautics, aerospace engineering requires a strong background in maths and physics, as well as coursework in topics such as aerodynamics, propulsion, material science, and control systems. After graduating from uh, grade 10 tutor, right, a student should focus on study of maths and physics, as uh, these are the foundation subject for engineering. So that's why we focus on maths and physics. Then it is important to develop a strong understanding of concepts such as calculus, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, as well as classical mechanics, electromagnetism, and thermodynamics. So as for me, these are the basic which uh, after 10 people required, the students required. These academic qualifications are certainly important for career in aeronautical. Practical experience is also like a key right. for unlocking a full potential. So internships, cooperative programs, research projects uh, can add like valuable hands-on experience for this and also you need to like kind of try to have a f- same friend circle or something who are, have a similar passion I would say that would also propel you to do something and discuss like you studied math, you studied this, you studied that 
like when you have a common goal and you are guys meet up together and working towards it it's going to enrich and it's going to reach make you reach there faster my experience is challenging but yet rewarding so i would like to say that to all women that erka don't know gender erka don't know who is uh, the female or male so breaking into the uh, like breaking into the male dominant field of aeronautics has a women uh, has been a challenging but yet rewarding as i told jenny form mm-hmm. so in my undergraduate class uh, there were only two girls when i and also when i worked in mro i was the only woman in my team but despite uh, the lack of uh, gender diversity i never faced discrimination in my career and i thanks to uh, all my supportive colleagues and mentors who helped me to grow the, uh, even though the industry lack of diversity in chal- is the challenge but i found connecting with the other women in stem to professional organizations and online communities to be a great source of inspiration and support So being a woman in a team has given me a unique perspectives and skill set so which helped me to succeed in my work and research shows that the diverse team are more innovative and productive which is why i believe that uh, having a variety of perspectives can lead to a better outcomes in aeronautics and other steam field and this with the challenge i believe that being a woman in steam is fulfilling uh, and rewarding career path So to all women interested in this field I encourage you to pursue your passions and connect with the supportive communities to achieve your dreams. Yes, uh, there's a lot of things that we do. So uh uh first is like we plan the day what are we supposed to do and we have collaborations with other teams and what is our task mainly like as an aerowatness engineer my task is to see any modifications or any new design that is coming into an aircraft is abiding all the rules and regulations that is set by the regulatory uh, regulatory authority and what is this change how it is going to uh, impact uh, on the aircraft so yes so i get all these modifications or i get all these uh, a new novel uh, change requests on an aircraft i sit i read that i i have the conversations with the other In, as it is an interdisciplinary field, I have a conversation with uh, other departments and see what it is, how it works, understand the working principle of it, propose the requirements that will be abide to it, ask them to, to say that how are you going to like uh, satisfy this, what evidence are you going to provide this, and propose that evidence also for them, get that done and get it certified. So this is what a normal day like meetings, discussion, analyzing. and trying to solve the problem in an innovative approach and in a better and efficient way so hobby flying you get to understand how the aircraft reacts in the real world like simulation that you say this could give you even more better reality towards how a small prototype is uh, working in the re- real life like think you're trying to design a new aircraft or trying to design a new part or a new shape or something so it helps you understand better how the shape is reacting to the real world or if you have a no hobby flying if you're passionate about hobby flying or sometime every time you fly so you understand the aircraft better like you understand what it does how it works so you get in depth knowledge where you can connect dots between uh, creating one and flying one and what are the discrepancies in between that and how do you eliminate that so it it would help you innovate better i would say it would help you create something better Right. to have that feel of like how it how it does and what it does so uh, and recently i went to vishveshwarai the vishveshwarai uh, in bangalore uh, vishveshwara museum and there is a university also in museum also so which can help the student of the small uh, kids to understand what is the mechanics be, uh, behind that and they have that simulation for the ch- uh, small children so that will help to uh, understand the uh, student like when we are lifting when how the wings are moving and all has a pilot simulation they have kept here so that will uh, affect like they will gain more knowledge like at least they will start gaining knowledge the student or the children so i recommend all the uh, students like school students to visit such museums vishveshwara is one even iit mumbai they sometimes have the competition uh, of aero modeling involved in that So you will learn a lot like you will gain a basic knowledge of that 
definitely i would say it is like yeah it's like the hands on experience like you have the theoretical knowledge with you and you having being passionate like having a hobby flying is like an hands on experience like what theory knowledge you have so trying to utilize that in and trying to understand better